right, on this wet Wednesday, the extreme weather wreaking havoc on travel throughout the Northeast right now. Amtrak service between New York and Philadelphia has been suspended due to power problems along the line. There is a major ice storm in the area, and all trains have returned to their stations while crews try to track down the source of the problem. So if you uh, travel in between New York and Philly today on the train, stand by. Meanwhile, as the country continues to get hammered by this weather, the National Climactic Data Center this past January will rank uh, January, this one that just uh, passed, as one of the coldest Januarys on record since 1895. Now, is the harsh winter weather and freezing cold temperatures a sign of global warming? Uh, well, Joe Bastardi joins us from State College, Pennsylvania. He's the AccuWeather meteorologist. Good morning to you, Joe. Good morning. By the way, that forecast was put out out of this office back in late December. This would be one of the coldest January since 1985. That was when uh, Ronald Reagan got inaugurated. Remember how cold? Some of you may remember of that. Absolutely. How cold it was. But there are things going on behind the scenes now that I believe will be proven indicative of a bigger change that's coming uh, down the road. If we look at a graphic here of what the normal La Nina looks like when you have a first year La Nina, right. it's usually very warm in the eastern part of the United States. The last time we had a La Nina this cold, was 1917, 1918. Look at how cold that was. Right. When you see how cold it was in the east, this year, the next graphic shows that we're very similar to that. Now, if we go to the 30 year satellite temperatures, you can see there's been a general trend upward here over the last 30 years. Right. That's because the Pacific's been warm, there's been high sunspot activity. That's turning around now, and the global temperature has crashed from that peak in the middle of 2010. All the way down to January will run below normal, and I believe 2011 will run near normal. What is very interesting about this, folks, is usually after a La Nina winter, the following winters are colder. Right. If we look down the road two years from now, the winters may be even more brutal from this, and this may become a pattern over the coming years. Right. Why? Take a look at this graphic. This is something I put up three years ago, why I'm so up in arms about people screaming it's global warming. If you make a prediction and say, watch out for the natural reversal, watch out for the solar cycles, watch out for volcanic activity, it's going to start cooling, and it does, guess what? When someone says, no, it's because it's warming, you tend to get a little upset. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So, you know, Joe, the uh, Al Gore came out within the last 48 hours on his uh, website, and he said that uh, scientists have said that the re you know, the, all these storms are indicative of the earth getting warmer. You've got evaporation up there. You've got more precipitation, and hence what's going on here. But you say that's just not no. right. Well, what it is, is that the atmosphere is beginning to cool. That creates more clashes. You know what this is like with those folks? And I, I don't mean to demean you, but Deuce, you used to wrestle. It's like the more your opponent scores, the more points you get. The That's fact right. of the matter is, these guys are sitting there, they do that. Is there any answer they don't own? Four or five years ago, we were hearing no winners, uh, lots of hurricanes, everything else. When the opposite happens, they say, well, we're right about that. My feeling is not necessarily I'm right yet. But I will be proving correct that the global temperature over the next 20 to 30 years, because of the natural reversal of the oceans, the solar cycles, and the wild card, the volcanic activity, will return to where it was in the late 70s. I'm not even that extreme. There are people who think that by 2030, we're back where we were in the early 1800s, wow. which is a mini ice age. And by the way, folks, yeah. cooling is worse than warming. It takes a lot more energy. That's why your energy bills go up in the winter to heat houses right. than it does to cool you down. No kidding. All right, uh, Joe Bastardi, you'll be proven right in 20 to 30 years, uh, you say. So well, we'll I be right. proven, we'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be proven right this year. The global temperature gotcha. will be back near normal this year. All right. Joe Bastardi uh, joining us from Pennsylvania. Sir, thank you very much.